Hey guys, I'm Daisho, and I'm here bringing you some Hearthstone. Just woke up, so yeah, little little bit of a sleepy sleeper, but that shouldn't stop me from dominating all my foes, defeating them, and conquering the universe. It should be all right in terms of that. <laughs> Playing with this priest deck that I still don't think is great, nor terrible, somewhere in between. I don't know. Okay. Against Jaina, Worgen Infiltrator's not great. In fact, I think I am going to Mulligan. I was going to say that I was going to keep it, but if he's playing Arcane Explosion or... Actually, never mind. I'm going to keep it. Because if he's playing Arcane Explosion or Arcane Missiles, then it just one for ones, and that's fine with me. So yeah, I'm going to keep this guy, and the only time I'm going to out-stealth him is to attack into a creature so that I can trade or um, have it be part of a trade. It's good that I'm going to be able to have an early game play and not just be stuck doing nothing until, like, turn three or four. But at the same time, this hand is not great. I mean, the reason why this guy is so good is because you can play him on turn one and he can trade for something. Well, that's pretty bad for me. I'm probably still just going to leave him stealth for a long time, though. You know, nothing to do here. This is just the worst possible situation. I'm not even playing a class where I can even do one damage or gain a life or something like that. I mean, I can gain life if I've lost some. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to unstealth this guy just to kill <laughs> kill something, otherwise I'm probably just going to lose it to that. So. It was a very good opening start for my opponent. Mirror image into knife juggler. Getting knife juggler behind taunts early is really powerful. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of a jerkhead. Not a fan. I don't know, if he plays a creature here and doesn't hit this, then he's probably not going to be very happy. So, he has a choice here. Oh, well, if he just has a one drop, then that's just amazing. Yeah, he's just going to shoot that. Wow, that was such a great turn. <laughs> this game is really not starting out well. Partially because I didn't play a 2-drop, but also partially because my hand, or uh, my opponent's hand was just insane. <laughs> that being said, used to be that Dark Iron Dwarf gave a minion plus 2 attack permanently, and this is where it's so much of an upgrade, because I just would not have been able to play this card. It would have traded with the Abusive Sergeant, or I don't know, it would have been really, really terrible for me. Okay, so is he just going to trade here? Okay, well that makes me feel a little bit better, because now I can start getting back into the game, I can drop a Silver Hand Knight here, and um, then get, I mean, I have Tiger, so yeah, this is, this is actually not as bad as it could have been. What I do have to worry about is that I haven't put any pressure on my opponent, and I'm playing against the Mage, so I'm probably going to get Flame Striked at least once, maybe twice. So I definitely am not going to be in the driver's seat for a long time. I mean, this is going to be a long, drawn-out game if I don't lose it very quickly. Alright, so Silverhand Knight was able to get me a good old two-for-one. Uh, let's see if he's going to be able to put something on the board here. Demolisher. Okay. It's not, not great for me. It's not terrible either, though. I'd rather do this than these two. Um... Doing these two would be bad because the Shattered Sun would be around to just get murdered by the Demolisher, 33% chance. Nobody wants that. But yeah, there's a pretty good chance that my Tiger is going to actually be able to take out that Demolisher. Okay, so he's got some stuff. I would not mind seeing a Holy Nova here. That's pretty cool. Um, then again, I'm not even sure what I would, what I want to do with it. Well, killing this thing and the Acidic Swamp Ooze is probably a nice play. Oh, what am I doing? For some reason, I thought my guy would survive. Oh, well. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't, didn't end up being so bad for me. But it definitely wasn't great. 
and he hit me with it, so that's pretty good. Okay, he's got a frostbolt. <laughs> sure. He's just protecting that demolisher like it's his job. Alright. That is a great draw. Um, so let's see. I don't have enough mana to test out to see if this is Mirror Entity. Then again, it doesn't really matter if he gets this. Now that I think about it, <laughs> he's just a 3-5. Alright, this is going this is going way better than I thought it would have been at this point. Sure, you got a fireball. I mean, it's not going that well now that I think about it, because I'm just getting beaten down. Don't really have anything great going on in my hand. Shadow or death is not going to cut it here. Alright, well. Okay. What you got, bro? There are a lot of things that could happen that would be good for me. Him fireballing my creature is not one of them. Alright, so mind control not looking too good here. At the same time, I think I just have to do it, which is kind of disappointing, but that's alright. <laughs> Could have taken this one, but this one just gives me a little bit more value. I don't know. Like so, interestingly enough, this one is probably going to be more relevant than this one, so <laughs> just going to take this out. I think I'm actually going to Divine Spirit here, depending on, on my draw. Then we'll Panther. Yeah, I'm just going to Divine Spirit here so this guy sticks around. And I am going to heal myself because I am in a dangerous position for being a mage. Or for being against a mage. So my opponent's still up one card. That's not really such a big deal. It's definitely something that I can come back from. It just really depends on what cards he's got. He might have like a flame strike. No, a frost nova though. Interesting. So he gets two damage in this way. I can just heal up, but. Two damage for a Frost Nova is something that I'm willing to trade. <laughs> well, there's a Stormwind. It would have been really nice to be able to attack right here and then just kill off that guy, but we'll see what he's got. He might have like a Pyroblast here and just have me dead. The problem is that I don't have my opponent close enough to dead that I can just turn the corner and start attacking. Arcane Explosion. What is that about? Oh god, I'm gonna get like flame striked. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, um. Yes, we are going to do this. Main reason being that I get to heal up my Stormwind to 6, so Flame Strike can't kill it. It's a good thing I did have 14 power on board, so it isn't gonna take me that long to kill him, but it was more than one turn, which is not really what I wanted. Arcane Missiles. I think I can beat an Arcane Missiles. <laughs> Guess he was hoping to hit the, the Stormwind at least one. Whew, that was a close one. I, I really thought I was going to lose that one for a while there. I don't even know how I, I gained the advantage to gain the upper hand there. That was pretty fortunate, I think. He just didn't really do much for a whole bunch of turns in a row. He just... He just uh, copied my Soul Priest and started attacking me with it and, and doing nothing else. His one-for-one -one removal was okay, but... I mean, he would have rather used those fireballs to my face, so... If he had just had creatures at that point instead and been able to trade, then he probably would have won. Anyway. Or 4-0, but that doesn't really mean that much. Alright. This is a really good hand, but um, yeah, Fort No doesn't really mean that much. It doesn't really start getting difficult until you get to like five or six. Oh, well, I'm actually, maybe not. I, yeah, I'll probably coin out a novice engineer. And if he shapeshifts, then I don't really care because it did his job anyway. And if he doesn't shapeshift, then 
I can return it back to my hand and get another card out of it later, so this should work out well for me. Even though you can just shapeshift and kill my guy. I mean, I also could have just dropped this first, but I, I think this is better. This is a really good hand. I mean, it's just got all my early game, and that's everything that I want to see in my starting hand. Yeah, so he's just going to kill it, but that's fine. This is everything that I want to see in my starting hand because I'll draw my late game when I need to get to the late game, so drawing my early game is pretty much perfect. I mean, it's, it's a very simple concept, but you don't want to see... Stranglethorn Target, for instance, in your opening hand, you want cards that will give you options in the early game. So, I mean, I have an option at every turn in this game, and it's pretty sweet. Hopefully he hits my guy, he's trying to kill me. No, okay. I think I'm gonna leave the... Since I can just play this Shattered Sun here, I'm just gonna hold on to the Shattered... Uh, to the Injured Blade Master until I can um, start healing it up. So he can have, like, a Wrath for this and then play a creature to trade with this would probably be his better option okay that's it's not great for me but it's it's actually fine because I can I'll just do this and heal up still drop a warning infiltrator puts me a little bit weak to swipe but if he's just getting like a weak two for one out of it then I'm not so upset especially because I can start putting pressure on the board with my five drops yeah, this is this is just where Shadowward Pain is such a beating. <laughs> just get to kill his five drop with it. And here I think I actually will drop this Blade Master. Worgen Infiltrator is gonna be the same as it was against Mage. I don't really want to unstealth it until I can actually gain value out of it. So yeah, instead of that Fen Creeper being a two for one and slowing down on tempo, I got to add a card to the board and take it out. So that was that was just a brutal, brutal play. I don't really have a good six. I have, yeah, all right, so here's going to be the swipe. Hopefully he doesn't kill it. Okay, he kills that. But um, that, that was definitely the correct play on his part. Now I have to decide what I want to do. It's probably not going to be Azure Drake because I don't have any, um, any damage in hand. It's either the Tiger or this thing. I think I'll just drop this thing because I have Stormwind, so I'd rather get an extra creature out. And if I can just drop Stormwind next turn, <laughs> my God, I'm gonna have I'm gonna be hitting him for 13, even even so, or like being able to trade with whatever he plays out, even if he plays out like an Ancient of War. <laughs> yeah, that's actually just a little annoying. I don't really have a good way of dealing with that, no matter what I do. Hmm. Let's think about this. So, oh, he's still got. A wrath. All right. So yeah, this is very good for him. So if I play Stormwind, yeah, I think I'm just gonna play Stormwind here. It's just a little better because I get to keep my guy as a five one, and if he wants to, he has to spend two of his eight mana. So he's not playing an eight drop. He's playing like a six. Well, he's probably not gonna play an eight drop anyway. But he, it's two less mana that he has access to this turn, and he still has to take four damage essentially. Five, or net four damage to kill it so that's gonna be fine for me and next turn I can drop two stealthy creatures <laughs> Where shall I okay owl he's gonna silence stormwind sure well I get to keep my guy that was definitely a mistake I think Yeah, that really does seem like a mistake on his part, because I can just heal it up and eat that. But, sure. So, I mean, silencing the Stormwind doesn't really do anything for him that turn. He can do it the next turn, and he could have just shapeshifted and killed my Silverhand Knight. So, yeah, there's an alternative play that would have been very much better for him. Okay, so I guess maybe he's like, oh, well, I'm just going to play the Starfall the next turn anyway. So maybe he's just outplaying me, I don't know. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna. I'm not really gonna holy nova just to get the divine shield off. Yeah, I think I am. Um. All right. So do I want to get this out of range of another stuff? No, <laughs> I'm just gonna play a five-five. There are definitely things that he could have that would annoy me. A swipe would be pretty bad. 
but either way, I think I'm still a little bit ahead in this game. I'm ahead on life. Ugh, it's annoying. I'm just going to ignore that, I think. Well, <laughs> that is not going to happen. Savage Roar. Okay. This has become a very brutal turn for me. <laughs> I have to just two for one myself to kill that, pretty much. Let's draw a card. Oh, mana short of being able to do anything good with that. Alright. So, let's just play this and this. And there's a very, very slim chance that he just attacks me. So, that would be sweet. But he's just going to use this Divine Shield to take this guy out. Nourish. Ugh. Alright, we got ourselves a little game here. I see you. Still not really looking... Oh, no! So bad. So bad for me. And this Soul Priest is not doing much on this board. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Sure. That doesn't seem like the correct use of that. Uh. Alright, I think I want to keep the Soul Priest in hand, so I'll just play this Gadgets in. Less efficient of mana use, but I like keeping both of these in my hand right now, so. The reason why I healed this guy up was because I didn't want it to die to a shapeshift. That's really bad. Alright, let's draw like a holy smite here. Nope. Um... This is just terrible. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Ancient of War is going to be a tough one to beat, but... Alright. <laughs> My opponent has played Nourish into Mind Control Tech into Ancient of War, which were just three cards that really, really warped this game. I was definitely ahead at some point, but it does not look like that anymore. And it looks like I'm about to lose my Soul Priest. But, you never know, my opponent could deem my 4-4 four four more worthy than my 3-5 again. But, yep. That was the play. He could trade all his guys for my 4-4. My four four. Yeah. I think that is the correct play. Alright, so it's 2v2. One of mine is a Blood Cell Raider, though. I don't even know if I play it out. <laughs> I guess not. I could draw a Taunter or a removal spell somehow. Hmm. You'd have to pump this if I were to get a removal spell. <laughs> I could draw Mind Control. I could draw Shadow Word Paint to kill that. This is going to get bad. Temple Enforcer. Okay, I could draw a Temple Enforcer. Let's just pump that guy. Alright, we got ourselves a 612. <laughs> Let's do this. Kodo. Sure, Kodo gets there. Yeah, I was about to say, I hope he doesn't go charge mode, because that would be the correct play here. Oh god, so he's got 8 11 damage next turn. I really wish I didn't lose my other guy. Alright, dude. Let's see what you got. I have 10 damage, so it's a little bit risky for him to just leave my guys alive. And he only has 8 11, so he's unlikely to be able to kill me. Well, that's not true. He could have a swipe or a charge creature and then shapeshift. Starfall. Okay, so he's gonna kill. Oh. 
what? Uh, I guess... Mm, yeah, that's a little strange. Alright. See uh, the heart of the cards here. I guess I only have 7 damage, so... Yeah, Holy Nova's not going to do much. Um, so I can get one of these, go back up to 8. That's just short of living, right? Hmm. Yeah, well, may as well. I only have 9 damage. May as well play it and hope he doesn't see it. Oops, I meant to heal this. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I was dead either way. If I if I like would have healed myself to 9 and I had just screwed that up, I'd be so pissed. Well ah, so close. Almost got there. My opponent had a really sweet deck. Can't really be upset about losing to to that one. Also, uh, um, it was pretty untimely how I drew both my blood cell raiders towards the end of the game and not the beginning of the game. But yeah, that was that was. I mean, I mean, I had a good start and it really looked like it was in my favor. But then my opponent drew the perfect cards. Maybe I should have played around my control attack. I don't know. He had two cards in hand. He just drew an, or he had one card in hand. He played a nourish and then. One of those happened to be mind control tech, and it really helped him get back into that one. Even though he only stole a weak creature, definitely mattered a lot. That's alright, though. Playing the priest mirror matchup, that does not happen very often. People do not choose priest. Uh, this character is kind of terrible. <laughs> and we're going to get rid of this mind control. Ugh, worst card in my deck by a lot. By so much. Worgen Infiltrator is plays a different role in this matchup. He's basically just a 2-1 for, for 2, or for 1. Unless my opponent plays a 2-3, in which case he'll stay. I hope you like my or a 1-1, for that matter. You don't want to trade this just for Novice Engineer. I can just trade this for Novice Engineer. Ooh, Shattered Sun Cleric's a nice one here. Good pickup. Because I have these two weak little creatures that I can pump up to actually trade for bigger stuff. All right, trade these. And nothing. Okay, let's do it. Got a couple of three twos. He's still two turns away from casting Holy Nova. He has the coin. No, he already used the coin, so he's still now he's still two full turns away. Okay, just thought stealing. That is that is a rough play in the early game like this. He could like have a Shadow Madness. I don't know. He's got he's got card advantage now. I mean, he started up a card since he's on the draw. Hmm. Okay. All right. So yeah, let's just throw this guy, and then we can tr or we can eat there. A little bit weak to Holy Nova, but not that weak. I mean, I still have a five three tiger around. Which I can heal back up to a 5-5, five five, so yeah. Def Ooh! Northshire Cleric, yes please. Yeah, I think I'm good with the ty with the Panther. Yeah, we we are going downhill from here. Definitely just beating beating down. Hopefully resolving a storm win next turn. Getting 6, 11, 12 damage in, <laughs> potentially. Or just being able to make very favorable trades with whatever he's got. I hope you like my invention. The double novice engineer deck. You don't see that too often anymore. Ooh, and youthful brewmaster. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be playing Holy Nova instead. Oh, yes. Draw two cards off my Holy Nova. I accept. Mm-hmm. Alright, no, nothing really to do. I guess, I guess I'm just going to do this. <laughs> oh man, that was that was just a brutal beatdown. <laughs> he was like really slow trying to dirt all around, and my deck was having none of that. Very aggressive start. And, uh, yeah, he really didn't do enough in the early games. Playing at Thought Steel just put him so far behind. He, he ended the game with way more cards than me, but 
he just wasn't able to deploy them quickly enough for it to be effective. So that's that's an opportunity, or it's just a cost of something like Thought Steal that you really need to factor in before you put it in all of your decks. I don't understand what the echoey voices when they do that. I don't know if you were able to hear it or not, but that was weird. Okay, um, what do we got here? We got a Northshire Cleric. Can't really play that on turn one. Um, I could hold it in hand for a little while. I'm going to keep the Blood Cell Raider. I'm actually just going to mulligan all these. Northshire Cleric really isn't that good in the beginning of the game. If you play it, the reason why I just kind of glossed over this, so I'm going to go back and uh, explain it. So the reason why you don't play North Shire Cleric on turn 1 is if your opponent counters with a 3-2 on turn 2, and you're in very bad shape. If you have something like a Shadow Word Pain or a Shattered Sun Cleric with the coin, then you can do that and be okay with it. But for the most part, you really don't want to do that. You can just fall so far behind so quickly, and it is unhappy. Alright, these five drops are nice, although <laughs> gadgets in I don't really want to play unless I have the coin still on turn five, but eh, I, I could. So yeah, this 2-3 is hopefully just going to do its job, which is trade with it. Oh, it's going to get deadly poisoned. Oh, thank god. <laughs> deadly poison is such a good card in the early game. drop this guy out. I have no no problem with playing this guy out without getting any um, any advantage. It happens sometimes that that you get lucky, but most of the time it, it's just you don't <laughs> don't get anything out of it. All right. Um, I think I got to just play play a dude this turn. Going to attack face. It is relevant to be aggressive against rogue. He wants to take a lot of damage using his hero ability so that uh, my creatures, or that he can kill my bigger creatures just by adding one damage to it, but sometimes it does not work. Really sucks that I had to do it this way, but I think that this was my only real play. Ugh. That's brutal. At least he can't play that for a little while. I'll be able to holy fire it by the time he can. Eviscerate. Kill my 3 3. Sure. Okay. Not working out great for me, but not terrible either. And I do foresee a couple of good plays in my future. So we're just going to be able to drop this Gadgets in. And hopefully next turn he just plays the uh, plays the Chillwind Yeti and I can Holy Fire it, draw a card, kill his bigger threat, hit him for 4. It looks like that's what's going to happen. I mean, it seems like a good play. This is kind of like a little a little back and forth kind of thing. So he thinks that he made a good play just by playing his chilling getting and that I made a mistake, but I actually knew that that was coming and I planned for it and it turns out to really work out in my favor. I only gained 2 life off it instead of 5, but that's all right. I mean, I'm the beat down here, so I actually have this uh, this nice little youthful roommaster novice engineer combo if I like. I also have dark iron dwarf um, youthful brewmaster combo as well. I also have a mind control in this hand, which is not to be uh, to be looked down upon. I mean, could be very useful here. All right, so my opponent's still at twenty. Probably not just gonna. Whoa, that's interesting. There's a stormwind champion. I don't think I want to do that here. Like Alright, I think I know my play. Me, yeah. I'm just going to kill this and heal up. And, yeah, he, he can kill my guy with just the weapon he would need something else which I mean there's plenty of things that he could have that deck has a lot of ways to do easy cheap damage and stuff like that he could even have like a blade flurry and that would get the job done 
pretty well, and he can still deploy a threat. That would be pretty bad for me. This is this is big. <laughs> All right, we can add five power, but oh wait, five powers? No, we have three power, so we can make it five power. It's not quite enough. Hmm. I mean, I could like Holy Nova, Shattered Sun. That's probably okay. Just draw a card off that. That's why. That's what makes it okay. <laughs> we must cleanse the sun well. Maybe I just actually go for the face here. Could have like an assassinate to punish me. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I mean, with with the Dark Iron Dwarf, the Holy Nova, and the Mind Control, and even the Stormwind. As long as my opponent's not clearing my board this turn, I should be able to kill him. And also, the, the panther is really helpful, because my opponent has to have exactly blade flurry. I think. Yeah, I don't think that deck has any other way of dealing area of effect damage. Okay, so he's going to be able to clear my board this turn, and he does have the assassinate, so I did get punished basically as much as I possibly could have. Even so, I am still looking like I'm in pretty good shape here. Oh, he's his face instead of his ogre. Can't say I'm 100% on that one. Right, I think I'm going to be playing this this turn, so let's do it first. More shard cleric. I think I can play another chump out to die. <laughs> or that he has to kill. Yeah, I mean, if this guy lives, it's lethal. If this guy lives, it is not lethal. It's close. <laughs> I have mind control, so if this guy stays at a 6-5, I could just take it. <laughs> okay, I forgot about Knife Juggler. He could have Knife Juggler. And he could just start pew-pewing my Jungle Panther. It would be very annoying. I would, I would not take kindly to that. Oh, please don't kill my Jungle Panther. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, one more creature. He's, he's only hit my creatures so far. <laughs> Looks like I'll be able to get this one, though. Alright, so... Managed to win this one. I think going for the face was the right play there. I was... Severely... It, I mean, he would have to have had a lot of different things. I mean, he had everything the first turn, but then... I mean, the reason why I didn't attack is because I had such a layered defense. I mean, I could Holy Nova here, clear his board pretty easily, gain... Draw two more cards. I don't know. There's just a lot of things that I could do. But yeah, we're what, 6 1 now? 6 1. Alright, that's getting pretty good. I just, I mean, one more win gets me to even. A couple more wins gets me to happy. Six more wins gets me to super happy, but <laughs> that's unlikely to happen. The deck's not terrible, but it's still not great. And I have Divine Spirit. I was so happy. I mean, games where you don't draw Divine Spirit goes really well. And I mean, that's by far my worst card in my deck. It's my only real junker. There's a couple of mediocre cards, but this is just a bad one. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.